Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome half ton towable fifth wheel with a kitchen island and an outside kitchen. This is a 2022 Jayco Eagle HT model 28.5 RLTS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Jayco and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you guys this Eagle. Before we begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. Good evening. Yes. How's it going today? It's going good. I'm super excited to take a look at this Eagle. It is, um, like Matt said, half ton towable. And it's one of the best half ton towables, I, I, in my opinion. Now Will, we always say half ton towable with an asterisk. Yes. We'll go over that in a second. Yes. But Will, the sun has gone down, but RV1 still open. Why is that? That's right, because they're open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yes, they do that because they know you guys, the customers, a lot of you guys get out of work and you want to come look at RVs. So they're uh, they're not full staffed after five, but they right. are here to accommodate you. I love that. That's right. And guess who else they're accommodating? Us. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's begin. Okay. Model is Jayco Eagle 28.5. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 32 feet 9 inches. The tri weight is 9,000. 418 pounds and the hitch weight is 1690. Will, yes. please go in more into details about half ton towable because there is certain F-150s that could handle this. Right. But go into it for us. Right, the majority of F-150s or any 1500 is not gonna be able to handle this, honestly. Um, think of a half ton towable as more of a smaller fifth wheel, not so much as ideal for towing with a half ton. Exactly. The pin like weight, yeah, the pin weight's a, probably the biggest issue. Exactly. You know, yes, the weight most, or not most, some half, uh, half tons can tow it, but that, that tongue weight or that hitch weight is very heavy for half tons. For sure. Right, uh, well, I'd probably say 10 or 15% of F of 150s can actually do this. Right. Always know before you tow. That's right. Right up here, Will, we do have the turning point trail air by Lipper Component. A beautiful fiberglass front cap. I like the chrome sticker they got going on here, but this is painted fiberglass. I love yes. that. Underneath, spare tire, spare tire carry. And then check this out. Nice little bit of storage. Is that prepped for a generator? I don't think so. It kind of looks it like it is. It kind of does. But, you know, maybe it's just rigid so you can put a little portable generator there. Right. Coming on down the side here, we do have propane tanks right here. Electric leveling, four point. Four point electric leveling. Nice power awning with LED lights. And then no awning on that one right there. But as you can see there, the slide out is prepped yes. for slide toppers. And so many guys um, are always stressed about slide toppers. Did you know our sponsor Lippert, one, they prep it for that. Yes. But two, you can actually buy slide toppers on Lippert's website. We'll link it down below, Will. Okay. And listen, if you are a Matt Foxcroft type of guy, just take it to the dealership. Right. But if you are a Will type of guy and you can handle stuff like that yourself, then just order your slide toppers and get it done yourself. That's right. Save a little bit of money. Right here, Will. Nice storage, aluminum framing, satellite, if you do want TV on the outside. Also, that's the uh, J port for the outside cooktop. And look at how nice and heavy. That's a slam latch door right yep. there. Little uh, spray port right there. Oops, speakers on the outside right there. And uh, a little light. Underneath. Where, oh, lighten up, lighten up blue underneath. Coming on down the side here, well, because this is a Jayco, does have a two year warranty, three year structural. And look at this, nice solid steps, hydraulic assisted. I love that. And I was not expecting that on this unit. And because Jayco's awesome, they warranty for full time use. So if you do decide full time in a Jayco, they're not going to void your warranty. That's right. Go call <laughs> Jayco. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear endurance tires. I love those. 
225-75 R15 with your more ride suspension. Also, it has the climate shield, which is a heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. I love that. And then look at this. Dang on it. What well, don't you want to know? Nice little refrigerator right here. Place for a TV right there. No cooktop here because again, it does have the J port that hooks up right there. But check this out, Will. Psh, Marka. Marka. Hell yeah. You do got your J Co beer opener. I'm gonna leave this open. Okay. And again, that's where your J port is. Coming around the back. What the heck? Does have the towing package. You can tow 3,000 pounds. I can't believe Jayco even put a sticker on that. Right. Um, a sweet. Especially yeah. if you're towing like a half ton. Right, right, that's right. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, no, we don't recommend that whatsoever. Uh, that's not good news, but there it is prepped for a Fury on backup camera. Also, well, it does have a ladder to get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go. Be careful. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit, it is prepped for two air conditioning units. Right there is your WineGuard digital antenna. Right here, you do see that it does have a max air fan. And right there, it is prepped for solar. I love how, like, I grip it strong as well. Like, it's going to make a difference. Right. If I'm going down, I'm going all the way down. Oh, great. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up on club. What do the RV salesman call take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Well, by the way, mm -hmm. we should do all reviews in the evening. Isn't what? this weather wonderful? Oh, it is nice, yeah. Right here, nice big slide system. Hydraulic here. Or is it rack and pinion? Rack and pinion. That's hydraulic, right? Yeah, uh, no. No, rack and pinion. Right here's your low point drain water heater right there. That's where you're dumping your tanks. And then here, Will, fully enclosed. Look at that. All your water hookup, water sanitation, city water collection. Collection. <laughs> city water connection, outdoor shower, black and gray tank dump valves, battery disconnect and all levering controls and everything. And then more propane. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Prep for the Fury yeah. outside cameras. Check out the inside, Will. Okay. All right, starting up front. Got the bedroom up here bathroom right here and coming down you got the kitchen living area and dining area all in one perfect and again we want to give a big shout out to lipper for sponsoring this again guys if you want slide toppers check them out down in the description below but will this feels different doesn't it it does yeah there's something major here that's different that i'm gonna save and it might be my like or it might be my dislike. I'm not going to tell you guys, but it's kind of something major that I'm noticing. Okay. But back here, well, isn't this fantabulous? It is, yeah. Great big windows. Privacy blinds nice. right here. A dual cushion trifle that does come out and makes a bed. You know what we should do one day, Will? What? 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Record all day. Yeah. Marathon. No breaks. <laughs> like lunch break. Look at that, guys. Nice trifle. Like no breaks. Straight through to 8 p.m. I wonder how many we could do in a day. I don't know. I'll let you figure that out on your own. At least 15. <laughs> Probably. It's eight hours, a half hour. But see, you want to know what the problem would be? The GoPros would get too hot. Probably. Very nice there. Very nice cabinet above. Well, if you don't mind showing that. Yep. All held up by a strut, which is very nice. Glass doors. Yes. 
very nice. Whisper quiet air conditioning. Yeah. The air conditioning's on right now and it's barely making any noise. No carpet right here, which is very nice. And then we do got the Stacy Stewart collection. Look at that. Stacy Stewart, very nice. Theater seats directly across from the entertainment center. That's where your TV is right there. We do have a little bit of storage above. Very nice, Will. Yep, very nice. Nice TV right here. Stationary. Yep. Well, it, it is so a little yeah. bit, yeah. No storage behind it. Right. Furion sound system there. Furion fireplace there. Very, very nice with what they're doing. Yeah. And then over here is some lights. Nice uh, mason jar lights. Yeah, they look nice. They look Art Deco. No. Oh. Right here's a very nice table and chairs. And I actually like how oversized it is. Big boy tested, big boy approved. I got plenty of space. I don't feel like I'm tight and confined. Really big windows in here for such a small fifth wheel. I love this so much. Will, you ready to show us the kitchen? Sure. Starting over here, we got a nice Furion refrigerator. Yes, sir. And a freezer. This is a compressor fridge. Um, I've said this before, but Jayco does do the um, farmhouse interior in here. A uh, little bit of storage up top here. Small window on your campsite, a little bit of power. Nice solid surface countertops and some storage underneath. Yes, sir. I like this microwave. Very big microwave. Yes, oh, nice wow. Nice point microwave. Okay. Uh, three burner Furion cooktop. Yes, it's sir. Nice cover, blue lights, and oven. It even has a drawer underneath. Nice. Then right here on the kitchen island, you do have the spray faucet here. Okay. Again, with the solid surface countertops, it looks really, really nice. Nice deep double bowl sink. Couple drawers here. And some storage underneath. Nice. Then over here behind me is like tons of storage. Storage up top there, which is kind of unusable. But this is certainly usable. Bing bong. <laughs> I, wait, 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 wait. I love that. Look at that. I can't just show this in two seconds. Well, right. I it's need to freaking pan around. Yes. And I love the light on that inside. Right. Then if that wasn't enough, you got a little more here. And a little more there. Man, this is huge. It is. Pantry it's space. It's hard to believe that we're in such a small and lightweight fifth wheel. Right. Okay, coming to the bathroom. Uh-oh. I've got a radius shower. Oh no. Oh no. Say it ain't so. For those of you who don't know, Willis is staggering six foot three tall. Wow. Yeah. Had so much potential, but it was radius. That's right. Does that mean it gets a shower test seal of approval? It does not. Denied. It's okay. Right here's our medicine cabinet with lots of storage for lots of medicines. Okay. Nice countertop here, little sink. Jayco just does such a good job with their air interior design. Yes. It is very nice. And then right over here, Will. Guess that wasn't a prime pooping position then, was it? Guess not. Did you just do that? I sure did, Will. Uh-oh. I sure did. Now the fine folks at Jayco is gonna blame this one on me. Right. But I didn't put it in a stupid spot. <laughs> so, we'll let the shop guys know. Yeah. Great, everybody. Oh, you know what, in their defense. No defense, Will. You no. should have had the door closed. No, I poop with the door open. No, you don't. Oh, great. Dang, nab it, Will. Who puts a thing on a door anyway? Yeah. So, and not in my defense, of course, because even with the door closed, it's, it's still, not a prime poop yeah. position. Okay. But I feel like, do I give it a prime poop position since I just ripped this off the door? No. Okay. Well, dang on it. You know, there's a lot of people that watch the show, Will, that aren't too fond of me. Yeah. And they just finished entering their comments. <laughs> They've been waiting for this moment. Probably. Perfect. They're on the phone with Jayco right now. Saying the fat boy ripped it off the wall. Right. <laughs> right here, Will, we do have the slide out. Yes. Okay. Nice storage there. Nice Closet. drawers. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Very nice. Uh, sorry, oh. Will. A little bit more wardrobe okay. right in here. And then look at this. I do like what they got going on here. This is a small bedroom. Right. But they made it so you get the side, but you don't get the up top. So it's not feeling as claustrophobic. I, I like that, yeah. I like the side tables. Good for CPAP machines, USB, and everything. Uh, this is where the second AC unit would go. It is prepped for that. And then you got a TV bracket right here. And then let's see if there's storage underneath. There sure is. There sure is. With two extra fold-up chairs. That's nice. Well, Will, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will let them know. But first, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love? I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Here's what I will say. Okay, well, we've been off all day today. <laughs> Here's what I will say, in this bedroom area, I do love this bed. I This is a tiny bedroom. Right, right. And with these big windows, with this and without this, it makes it feel actually huge and spacious and I really, really do like that. That is the first thing that I love about this unit. Okay. Bill, number two. I'm gonna go right here. Better not be saying that radius shower. No, but for a half ton towable, I love the sink area. Half tons are, are, are known to be small, and typically you just get like a little corner sink right yeah. here. You got a little bit of storage on both sides. You actually have a full medicine cabinet and a little bit of storage underneath. I, I think for the the only thing I like in the bathroom is this, but I really like it. Good, give credit when credit's That's due. That's right. That's number two, Will. And then coming on down number three, you know, I really want to make it the outside kitchen, but we'll make it the outside kitchen, but we won't. Outside kitchen, number three. Okay. Number four, because I ripped the thing off the wall. The amount of pantry space in here. Right. For it's a crazy. half ton towable, mid profile, lightweight fifth wheel. Right. Is actually kind of insane with all of this. It really is. And they did a very, very good job. And uh, just big credit to them. Yes. So that's three things we love about it. Well, now it's time for three things we don't like. Okay. About this fifth wheel. You go first. Mine's back up here. Oh man. Okay. Even. Hang on a second. Hang on. Okay. I was thinking, what was my dislike in here? All right, we're following you. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry, Will. No, you're fine. I remembered it. Here, dislike number one. I was one. gonna say the same thing. I love this. Yeah. Huge microwave. But not in this. Look at this. I got catfished. All right. Well, and also, I don't need that big of microwave in here. Like, it's so it's such a small unit. But well, look at the back of the door. Talk about it. Look at this. I guys. know. Talk about a catfish. You know what like I'm saying? All this is wasted space. Right. All this. Right. And it and it and it appears that is bigger. Right. Womp womp. That's number yeah. one. Will number two. Okay. Even though this is a smaller trailer, the ceiling height up here is terrible. Yeah. I'm hitting my head constantly. And then if you have one of these lights or an AC in there or anything, then I'm really hitting my head. Yep, yep. So. Well, sucks to be tall, Will. Sucks yeah. to be tall. That's number two. And then I had a really good number three. You said there was something big when you first walked in. When I first walked in? Yeah. In here or up there? In there. In here. You said you were noticing. Oh, thank you, Sir William. I'm like, man, there was something that I didn't like about it. Do you notice how yellow it is in here? A little bit, yeah. So, I don't like these LED lights. I feel like they're too yellow. Yeah. I feel like this whole thing's like a yellow tone. Right. And quite frankly, it still feels a little dark in here. I would agree. I would much rather see, like, one, them change the bulbs or the lights to those bright white lights. Right. Right? Oh, hang on. So, yeah, no, that's a yellow tone. Right. Because this is clear. So, yeah, change it to like a, is it a soft white or a hard yeah, white something or something like, like that. that? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Right. And then add a third strip, just like the Coachman Encores you're doing. Right, right. And it just makes it brighter in, in here, and I would, I would just really like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for reminding me, Will. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, you know what time it is, Will? It's now time for the MSRP. Also time for Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> MSRP, 
on this unit here is $78,091. Will, MSRP, sale price, it's phenomenal. We can't say it. If you're interested in this, we are now with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter where you live in the country and it doesn't matter what unit you're interested in. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form and somebody from my team will help up, help you. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course, yeah guys, um, the, I, I really actually like the looks of this unit. Again, it's gonna be a light, think of this as a lighter weight uh, fifth wheel. Um, instead of like a half ton tow. Yeah, yeah, know, for sure. It's very, very important to make sure that you are checking all the numbers and all the specs of your truck and the trailer before towing. You know, so many times Matt and I are out on the road and we see things we shouldn't. No, before you tow. Matt and right. are not res responsible for any <laughs> any misinformation of towing. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, um, lawyer. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and dislike. And make sure to also smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yeah, so much for watching. You. And Will, we'll see you next time.